Hello, fellow bookworms and seekers of knowledge. Welcome back to our enthralling journey through To Kill a Mockingbird, the literary masterpiece penned by the remarkable Harper Lee. In Chapter 7, the bonds of childhood friendship are put to the test, and a tantalizing mystery takes center stage. Get ready for secrets, laughter, and a touch of growing up that'll keep you hooked till the very end. Before we dive into the captivating details of Chapter 7, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, so you won't miss any of our exciting book summaries. Now, let's step into the world of Chapter 7 of To Kill a Mockingbird. Chapter 7 begins with a peculiar discovery that turns Scout and Jen's world upside down, a mysterious ball of twine. Suspicion looms as the children try to decipher its origin, leading them to unravel an unexpected secret hidden in the knothole of the tree. The discovery of the knothole's contents marks a turning point in Scout and Jem's relationship with Boo Radley. It's a moment that challenges their preconceived notions and adds an air of intrigue to the story. But that's not all. As the children grapple with the mystery, they navigate the fine line between respecting boundaries and satisfying their curiosity. Their dilemma highlights the universal struggle of curiosity versus caution. Now, here's the twist, the twine and the figures carved from soap unveil a new layer to Boo Radley's character. Suddenly, he's not just a figure of fear, He's a figure of artistry and creativity. It's a reminder that people are often more complex than they appear. But the heart of Chapter 7 lies in Scout's conversations with Atticus. Her honesty about finding the twine becomes a pivotal moment. Here's where the chapter delves into the themes of trust, accountability, and the importance of owning up to our actions. Now, here's the intriguing part, Atticus's response to Scout's confession is laced with understanding and a lesson in empathy. His guidance highlights the importance of acknowledging our mistakes and taking responsibility for our actions. But let's not forget Jem's reaction. As Jem mourns the loss of the connection with Boo Radley, his disappointment resonates with us. It's a moment that captures the vulnerability of growing up and the fleeting nature of childhood beliefs. Now, here's the enchanting part, Jem's experience teaches us that growing up often means letting go of cherished illusions. It's a theme that echoes throughout the novel, reminding us that the transition from innocence to understanding can be bittersweet. And there you have it, Chapter 7 of Two Killer Mockingbird. Isn't it fascinating how this chapter explores friendship, curiosity, and the shades of mystery? Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and share it with fellow book enthusiasts. Join us in the next video as we continue to journey through the layers of this literary gem. Until then, remember, every secret holds a story waiting to be revealed.